Hello guys, let's talk about pagination in Laravel by answering the question. But not just simple pagination, but pagination on the collection. In really rare cases, you would need to add pagination to the collection of the results and not to the eloquent query builder. So how to do that? I have a demo project to demonstrate you two ways. So this is an example. By default, you paginate the users by three and the table looks like this with pagination. So you click two, you click three, and then the results change, right? I have 50 users seated here. But what if you want to use some filter? For example, I've commented out the code. So you want to get all the users, then use some filter in the collections and then paginate. So let's uncomment this out and let's use the get here. Of course, beware, such a thing may have performance issues. So if you have users table with like millions of records and then you filter it here, then Eloquent will download all the million records into memory and you may have memory issues. So do that only when you know what you're doing and you want to really paginate the collection. But the problem is if you do it like this, there's no method paginate in collection, Eloquent collection. So how to create that or recreate that or mimic that? As I said, I will show you two ways and both are actually not my own. So I don't claim that it's my solution. So Simon Hemp created this gist for paginated collections. And it all comes down to app service provider defining that paginate method on the collections. So in collection, you may define your own method with collection macro, which you can put in various places. Typical way is app service provider or other service providers. And I have a separate video about macros for collections and strings from what I remember. So I will link that in the description below as well. So you define the macro and this becomes the method name. And this is how it is resolved, the method name. And this is really similar to how pagination works in Laravel Query Builder, really similar parameters. And you need to return the paginator. Length aware paginator is Laravel class, which actually implements the pagination. So you kind of fake that or reuse that just from the collection. And collection has methods like for page, like count. So it returns pretty much the same or identical things to what query builder eloquent pagination would return. And if we try to do that, I actually did that and I will uncomment that in my app service provider in this project. And now if we refresh this page, now our pagination works. There are only 16 results instead of 50. So the users list is filtered. If we click two, the results is still 16, the page is two, so it all works. So one way is to define your pagination as collection macros. Another way, if you don't wanna dive what collection macros are, Spotty have the package for that, as they do for everything in Laravel. So there's a package called Laravel Collection Macros, where they collect a lot of macros, which they needed probably themselves in the projects and decided to release it as a package. So paginate is one of the macros, which does pretty much the same thing. You just don't need to define anything in app service provider. You just install that package and use paginate. I will link both of those methods in the description below, the links to GitHub and GIST. And if you want more tips like this one, subscribe to the channel and also support the channel by going to laraveldaily.teachable.com where you have 26 courses about Laravel and related stuff like Alpine and Livewire and GraphQL. And there's Vue.js down below and Flutter and stuff like that. So you can subscribe to all of that by purchasing yearly membership, which would give you 26 courses, all of the courses, plus everything I will release a year ahead. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.